so now uh, we talk about one of the most important results or theorems which are used in this course so given a chain complex like this from it's an exact chain complex we go from a to b to c all these are chain complex so it looks like a ladder diagram so this chain complex gives rise to an exact sequence of homology groups yeah so these homology groups are from hn a to hn b via map i star this i star is induced from map i from chain complex a to chain complex b i star gives map between homology groups and the homology groups of a to b and then similarly we have map j star So we have this connecting homomorphism, which we write as D. I think previously we wrote it in red color delta. So this goes to H n minus one. We have just reduced index by one. H n minus one C, and this will continue on. So again, map I star here and map J star here. So now let us prove the statement we wrote on the previous page. So the first step is we want to prove this small part, H N A to H N B to H N C is exact. So we want to show this part is exact. So the first thing is, we sh we have to show image of I star is equal to kernel of J star. So first we start with the easier part. Image of I star belongs to kernel of J star, and then we will prove the reverse inclusion. So first write down the chain sequence. Yeah, we have zero to a n, a n to b n, b n to c n to zero. You have I here, J here, and we have J I is equal to zero, which obviously implies J star I star is zero. This is like standard, yeah. So that means I star lies in kernel of J star because J star I star is zero. Now the reverse inclusion. The reverse inclusion is slightly more involved. So first, see what is map J star. Map J star acts on elements of H and B. So say B belongs to H and B, but elements of H and B are of the form kernel of delta over image of delta. That means delta B is zero. Yeah, if B belongs to H and B, then it has to belong to kernel of delta. That is the definition of H and B. So I star also lands in H and B. So we have to map these two Bs, but it has to get mapped via an element A in H N A. Yeah. So if it, uh, element A in H N A means that A belongs to kernel of A because H N A is nothing but kernel of delta over image of delta. So A belongs to kernel of delta. That is delta A is zero. So let us write down now what I have been describing. So J star is a map from H N B to H N C. That is, it takes elements of B to zero in H N C. But zero in H N C also consists of boundaries. Yeah. After all, the definition of H N C is kernel of delta over image of delta. So map B maps to elements like zero plus delta C prime. So where does C prime come from? 
uh, since we are landing delta c prime in c this c prime has to come from cn plus 1 yeah because we are talking about h and c and delta c prime in h and c means it came after application of map delta so came from c prime so now let us complete this diagram we go from bn plus 1 to bn and bn gets mapped to cn yeah so let us write down this element b in bn also which uh, got mapped to delta c prime so c prime now gets lifted to b prime because j is a surjective map so so this we have shown multiple times that map j is surjective and map i is injective now what we want to do is we want to find this element a in h and a and this a in h and a obviously comes from a n because uh, h and a consists of kernel of delta over image of delta which essentially act on a n one lands in image lands in a n and kernel goes out from a n so how do we find this a so this a will come only if we can find an element in b b n when you apply j to it it gets mapped to zero yeah so if it gets mapped to zero since kernel of j is equal to image of i we will be able to get this a by lifting up the element by lifting up the element to a now obviously b is not getting mapped to zero b is getting mapped to some delta c prime so we need to find something like this element so i am saying b minus delta b prime where b prime you see is taken from b n plus one you apply delta to it you get delta b prime it, this is the standard trick you always uh, subtract delta um, b prime yeah so delta previous image so we say that this map goes to zero yeah so if we are able to show that this map goes to zero then we will be able to lift it to a by the simple property that kernel of j is equal to image of i since a and b and c n is an exact sequence and this is true because after all you say j b is nothing but delta c prime yeah this is from the start we said by definition and j b prime is uh, delta and j are commute that's what we have done and you see j b prime is c prime after all b prime is the lift of c prime so ultimately we were able to find this element a in h n a now we still have to show that it is an h n a but we have found an element a in a n yeah which we wanted now we have to show that it lies in h n a and for that purpose we have to show that delta a is zero now the property we are going to use is the commutativity yeah so since a is corresponding to b minus delta b prime if i apply map delta to b minus delta b prime what do i get i get zero because delta b is zero we started with uh, b as an element of h and b so therefore delta b has to be zero and delta square is always zero what about this zero this zero by the injectivity property will get lifted to zero therefore we have no choice but delta a getting mapped to zero yeah so because a corresponds to b minus delta b prime in bn and b minus delta b prime corresponds to zero in bn minus one and since the square commutes and i is an injective map this zero will get lifted to zero in a n minus one and that is the end of the story essentially we have been able to get a map b gets mapped to b that is from kernel of j star you move to image of i star via element i star a yeah where a belongs to h and a and uh, that is the end of the story so we have been able to get a element a